size of this pine tree. Hi guys, it is a glorious day here in the collapse, literally in the collapse of global industrial civilization. I've been wanting to get out here since I started this channel. So where we are is in the middle of the Okefenokee Swamp on Billy's Island. This absolutely gorgeous place where they claim we're not seeing a whole lot of birds. I am a little bit uh, concerned about the lack of birds in the Okefenokee Swamp. Supposedly, there's 233 species of birds here on um, Billy's Island, 49 species of mammals, 64 species of reptiles, 37 species of amphibians, 39 fish, and 621 species of plant. And I'm afraid this, this bamboo, uh, good lord, this is a bad sign for Billy's Island is this bamboo. So anyway, that's today. We are here on this gorgeous Wednesday, April 13th or 14th, somewhere around there, 2021. So here is follow the evidence. So the first people, those old uh, noble savages, they lived on this island for 4,000 years. So we had the noble savages here for 4,000 years living here. And uh, then uh, I guess from 1870 to 1930, this was the Lee Farmstead. A pile of bricks somewhere is all that remains of the Lee Farmstead. They were evicted in 1932 when they uh, made the next. Okay, the logging camp. All right. So we have the noble savages living here for 4,000 years. Then in 1918, uh, the loggers came in. The logging industry brought to this island where we're standing over 500 people, a railroad, a theater, a barber shop, a doctor's office, a juke joint, school, and segregation to the island. Fifteen years later, Billy's Island was stripped of its trees in an eight-year period from 1918 to 1926. After the noble savages lived here for 4,000 years, in eight years, this place was stripped of its trees. And then, then uh, so not a tree standing here in 1926. And then they uh, created that refuge in 1937. So every one of these trees has grown here since 1937. But it is a fine, uh, one of the few things that give me hopium here, uh, 500 people taking out every single tree on this island. But it is a gorgeous day. We have been uh, about three miles starting out from the dock. We have about three miles so far have seen one alligator and not one single big wading bird. You know, we have not seen a heron, an egret, uh, in the Okefenokee Swamp in three miles. Not one sign of a water bird. I mean, it was downright spooky this morning how quiet it was. Right out of a Rachel Carson horror story. I mean, my uh, my piece of ground in uh, at Crazy Camp, Crazy Crane Campground, you know, full of bird song in the morning, frogs, alligators. It was, uh, I mean, it was spooky. How dead silent it was. I hear a few crickets chirping here. I hear one bird. One bird. There's supposed to be 233 species of birds here 
I hear one individual bird singing and uh, guys, I don't know, I used to come here as a kid. I haven't been here in 40 years to this spot. And uh, I mean, it just used to be lined with all of these big wading birds. Not a sign. But uh, other than the lack of wild animals, the uh, it is fine to see nature reclaiming. Get out there and enjoy what's left of your nature before she really brings out the reclaiming. Mm. Oh my guys.